yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. Whatever they do, it is our determination that they will never succeed in destroying what we hold dear in this country and in other civilized nations throughout the world. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat Al-Qaeda. Yet his death does not mark the end of our effort. There's no doubt that Al-Qaeda will continue to pursue attacks against us. We must, and we will, remain vigilant at home and abroad. And fellow South Africans, I greet you all in the name of peace, democracy, and freedom for all. I want to get straight to the point. We all know how bad things are. Massive debt, social breakdown, political disenchantment. But I want to talk today about how good things could be. Don't get me wrong, I have no illusions. If we win this coming general election, it is going to be tough. There will have to be cutbacks in public spending, and that will be difficult. We will need to confront Britain's culture of irresponsibility, and that will be tough for many people. And we will have to tear down Labour's big government bureaucracy, ripping up its time-wasting, money-draining, responsibility-sapping nonsense. <laughs>